if you're thinking of heading out for something to eat, a lot of us think, oh, Japanese, how about some sushi? Well, Rose Reisman is here. Give her a big hand to talk about it. choosing it or losing it yeah. when it comes to Japanese food. Yeah. Not everything is as good for the bod as you might think. Right. And, and when you look back in, in Japan, I mean, the Japanese live the healthiest lifestyles. They live longer than we do. They're not yeah. plagued with obesity. There's only an 11% obesity rate in Japan. We're 68%. Are so, you kidding yeah, me? Yeah. So they're doing something right there. Now, as North American influences come over, mm -hmm. it starts to increase. But if you take a look at what the sushi table is, it's, it's fabulous it's lean good. protein. It's fish. Uh, like the salmon has the omega fatty acids. The white rice and today in sushi places you can order brown rice and even red rice, which is really nice. Yeah. And avocado, you know, monounsaturated fats, which are good. The only thing you gotta be careful of is the soya sauce. Because one tablespoon of soya sauce is a thousand milligrams of sodium. You're only allowed fifteen hundred in your day. Oh, there so you go. So be careful. So I buy the lower sodium, fifty percent reduced. Right. But let's take a look at some of the stuff that you might feel when you go into the restaurant sounds good but isn't so good. So shrimp tempura. So the minute right you hear here. tempura, you know, I mean, it's shrimp, and that sounds good, but tempura means it's been battered and deep fried. Mm -hmm. So four of these guys here, and they look delicious, and they, they, sure and they look large, Tracy, too, but four of those come in at about 270 calories okay. and 21 grams of fat. Mm -hmm. But I want you to see, that would be the equivalent of just cooking about 25 shrimp here in terms of calories. And this you will not believe, unless I peel it away, the shrimp in there is equivalent to this size. It's straightened out, oh, really? there's a toothpick, and that's all batter. Oh. So you're eating <laughs> batter and oil. If you tear this away, you'd see what I mean. It's a really scrawny little shrimp in there. Okay. So in the it's end, all deep fried. you could end up having gyoza, which are those little like egg roll Dumplings. wrappers. They're seared, they're not deep fried, so you can often, often see the bottom, you see? Mm -hmm. are just seared like that. They're filled with a pork or a shrimp. They come in at 160 calories with six grams of fat. Much better. Versus a 270 and 21. So if you were to order, say this is an appetizer, go for that. Absolutely, steamed, the gyoza. Yeah. Um, and stay away from tempura generally. In general, even, you know, people say, well, Rose, I only had zucchini tempura. It doesn't matter. Doesn't that poor matter. zucchini, which is like almost no calories, is now 200 calories. Right. So you want to stay away from that. Okay. All right. So let's move on down so the So this line I here. love, salmon. So we love salmon, and there's something called a salmon sushi pizza. Have you, I've have you seen had one? That. Oh, they're so good. I feel good. like that was probably a North American invention. Probably. Yeah. I, I don't think in Japan you see this so much. I don't much. think so either. So what it is, is it's not pizza dough, it's rice. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's a piece like this, but here's the problem. The rice is fried. Right. Sometimes even deep fried. Sometimes a Why whole do do rice okay. cake. And then they put on all of about just an ounce or so or two ounces of salmon. So the salmon's great for you, the fried rice is not so great for you. Yeah. So that comes in there and that would be an appetizer also. 320 calories and 12 grams of fat. Not that bad. But you could end up having six ounces of salmon, grilled salmon teriyaki, virtually in calories for the same thing. Which that looks so much more and, and that's going to fill you up. Remember, the rice is kind of empty carbs, mm -hmm. not enough protein. You're going to feel full from there. The reason people at times say, you know, Rose, I eat rice and I'm hungry. You know, it's like you go to these restaurants, you burp, you eat again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and part of the reason is that the white rice really is a simple carb. So it raises your glycemic index. You're hungry very soon. You have a piece of this with a little bit of rice, you're going to feel fuller. It'll hold you down for a but while. What's great is you could have the salmon hand rolls. So that's Aren't good they gorgeous? News to me. That, oh, and I they're love those. filling. So two of these ends up being 234 calories versus a 320, but only four grams of fat versus the 12 grams because okay. of the deep frying. What's in there? Isn't oh, so that that's just, just rice, rice and a piece and of fresh uh, salmon. salmon? But isn't that beautiful? Yeah, beautiful. That's great. All right. I love the hand rolls. So now the spider rolls, and depending on how many you get sometimes it's anywhere between six and eight the spider roll is soft shell crab uh -huh. and crab is delicious but soft shell fried crunchy I mean you can just take a peek here oh is that you what see it means that? when it's soft shell it so means it's been it's, fried. it's for sure it's always been deep fried you uh -huh. can get soft shell crabs in a good restaurant but yeah. in sushi it's going to be deep fried okay filled with some rice avocado mayo um, and Ooh, this comes too. in these come in at about 500 calories for these for little things? and 21 grams One, two, of fat three, the four, frying five, sometimes you get between six and eight all depending equivalent I love that this is not a meal to me no. for that amount of calories Three <gasps> pounds of snow crabs. All the meat in these crabs. You know when you go like to Red Lobster? Order this. 
this is the same as that in calories. Now, it's a joke, it really is, but it shows you what the deep frying can do. Yeah. All right. Stay and the, the mayo, fried. extra mayo, and all of that. And sometimes these are made with eel. There's eel sauce in there. But instead, you could have the spicy tuna roll. So oh, this is good. some delicious the tuna. tuna they do put a little mayo in there, not too bad. Mm -hmm. 290 calories versus a 500, and only 11 grams of fat versus 21. Half the fat. So is it going to be obvious when things are deep fried? I guess you have to look for things like soft shell, tempura. Tempura, absolutely. And and you can always ask. I mean, I go in there and sometimes some restaurants do fry the gyoza, deep fry them. So you say, right. are they fried? They go, no, they're seared. Oh, okay. So you know, and sometimes they're even Just steamed. Ask. All yeah, right. which is even better. So now, let's go over to our dragon roll. So th these are absolutely gorgeous. And, and again, anywhere between six and eight pieces. But look how gorgeous. That's this beautiful. is tempura shrimp. You'll yeah. see it. it. Look under the little lines because it will tell you. They'll just say dragon roll. You'll order it. In the fine print, you'll see uh, deep fried shrimp or eel. Okay. It's got avocado. It's got crab meat. There's mayo in there. Oh, my goodness. Comes in at 643 calories for a dragon roll. For one roll. 34 grams of fat. And this I love. It's equivalent to, you know, these steamers are really great, great little foods. You could have nine of these steamers nine. in terms of fat for the fat of that. You're so it, it's ridiculous, me. but when I go for sushi now, I look at people and they're really overweight and they feel good about eating sushi, but they don't have really an idea of what it means. So hopefully this will prompt you to take a better look at the fine line in the menu. It's like anything else. It's, it's all about ex what you're actually putting in your mouth at, on your plate. So it's not about a brand of food or where the food comes right. from geographically. Right. It's about how it's been right. prepared. Right. So we think Japanese healthy and there you go. All right. So yeah. finally we have a dynamite roll. Dynamite roll again. Tempura shrimp, mm -hmm. avocado, cucumber, fly fish, egg, also some mayo. Comes in at 508 calories, 21 mm -hmm. grams of fat, equivalent to an entire package virtually a package of blue menu chicken Skewers. yakitori in terms of calories. And if you want a yakitori, that is a great choice in a Japanese restaurant. What does that mean, yakitori? It's usually on a skewer, so it's shrimp, it's chicken, okay. it's beef. It's been Healthy, grilled. it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Or instead, you could have the good old California roll. And again, yeah. you might get four to six I love pieces. The California roll. That's that makes okay. Me happy. I mean, it's not real fish. Remember, it's the imitation crab meat. Good enough for me. But 255 <laughs> calories versus Close a 500, enough. and seven grams of fat versus 21 grams of fat. Way better. So, a little sushi primer for you. Just yeah. remember some of the key words. And remember, all of it adds up and rice adds up and just, you know, be careful, have more lean protein. I love sashimi yeah. when I go into a Japanese it's the restaurant. It's the purest way to get it. It's the purest way and have and a little still bit yummy. Of, yummy and have a little bit of rice on the side so you make your own little sushi rolls. That's right. Instead of eating that much rice, mayonnaise. And remember, even in the, these rolls here, the Philadelphia rolls here, it's cream cheese. Oh, okay. salmon. So I don't know if we, we talked about that. See, so. that's very North American. It's very Do North American. Do you think they're having cream cheese in Japan? I don't think that's I don't on their know. menus. All right. So, thank you for that thank primer. You, Let's go to break. We're coming up. Stay with us.